Hello guys and welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest breaking news about Princess of Wales and her family. Join us to analyze the rumor about Catherine following her unexpected appearance alongside the royals in Scotland during the royal family's summer holiday. Earlier this month, new details emerged of Catherine's harrowing cancer battle, with insiders revealing just how much worse the situation was behind closed doors. Last Sunday, August 25th, the princess surprised the public at Balmoral, where she is on vacation with Prince William and their three children, George, Charlotte, and Louis. Her appearance is notable not only for the context, but also because it was her first public outing in over a month. In recent weeks, news of her health condition has spread like wildfire, shaking the hearts of her loyal followers around the world. Despite her previous determination and perseverance, Catherine could no longer hold back tears when she faced the reality of her health problems, a crisis she considers the biggest challenge of her life. During a recent public appearance, she burst into tears and realized the severity of her health situation. With each deep breath, I'm reminded of how fragile life can be and how important it is to appreciate the moment, she shared tearfully. This revelation, which she shared with the world, has deeply shaken the kingdom and sent a wave of concern. It was a moment that brought the world to a standstill, and the princess spoke openly about her fears and worries. The shock was clear in her voice. These words have touched the hearts of her followers deeply and sparked an understanding that even the strongest among us experience moments of weakness. While Catherine has requested privacy to focus on her recovery, this period in her life has generated interest in both her medical progress and the strategies she's adopted to make the effects of chemotherapy less obvious. In one of her last video appearances, she offered a brief but touching greeting to British athletes who participated in the Olympics in Paris, highlighting her commitment to her responsibilities despite her condition. In general, chemotherapy treatments have well-known side effects, such as hair loss, eyebrows, and eyelashes. To date, the Princess of Wales has made few public appearances, with her participation in significant events such as King Charles's Trooping the Color and the Wimbledon Final, where she attended with her daughter Princess Charlotte being notable. The Globe watched as she stepped out on a stylish monochrome Jenny Packham dress, featuring a statement bow, channeling Eliza Doolittle. It was a heartfelt moment between father and daughter, as they were reunited on the palace balcony for the first time since they both began cancer treatment. In a sweet gesture from the monarch, Catherine stood next to Charles, a change from last year's arrangement when her husband Prince William was next to him. She is thought to have gotten closer to Charles. As the king announced that he was so proud of Catherine for her courage in speaking as she did via a statement after revealing her cancer diagnosis. In her second public appearance, the mother of three attended Wimbledon alongside her daughter, Princess Charlotte, and her sister Pippa Middleton. She was greeted with a standing ovation as she headed into the royal box during the tennis tournament in July. The royal mum of three seemed in high spirits as the trio enjoyed a girls' day out. While Prince William and Prince George traveled to Germany to watch England play Spain in the final of the Euros. Indeed, it's been a rough, rough time, a really difficult year for the entire family. And as she herself said, she's not out of the woods yet. The direction is positive, but there will be a great change in terms of her public profile, and no one is given a timescale for her return. Insiders added that when Catherine put on a brave face, she's been privately struggling more than people have realized. She's an incredibly strong woman, but she's really been through the wars. Her treatment and recovery is still a priority and will be ongoing for some time to come.